I, like you know, so like on Friday night, I had a, a little a little party, and I was like, "Fuck, man!" Like this is how selfish I am. I'm like, "Fuck, God damn it!" World War Three is going to start on the night of this party that I'm throwing, and I was like bummed because it's like everyone's going to come. And then there's gonna be nuclear war or something, and it's gonna like fuck up the, the party. And I was like, I was like, God damn, that's such a selfish thought. But then I realized, like, whoa, man, like you're I started getting anxious, you know, beyond that. You know, I started getting scared and worried and nervous about World War Three. And then and dying. And then I kind of realized, like, oh, I have no control over that. Like, there's nothing I could do. There's no phone calls to be made. There's nothing to be done about this. These are massive, massive gears that are turning and that, you know, I don't know much of what can really be done about it right now, like in this single moment. Do you think that's uh, naive or like a form of nihilism or to just suddenly just realize like, oh, actually, I don't really care about the president or political climates or empires or governors or principalities or powers i'm just using my mind is becoming attached to that because there's a bigger problem i'm trying to avoid mm, no i don't i don't think there's anything weird or wrong with that i think isn't that pretty much how you felt the entire time and isn't everybody just catching up with you no i don't know i don't i, I go yeah, back and forth no, everyone's just exhausted and, and tired of caring yeah you never really did care it, you knew it was dumb before everybody else like it, it was it, we, we some of us tried and it were like herniated our fucking embarrassingly putty like muscles of, of of like and and revealed that we were hypocrites and yeah everyone is uh tired now and 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 it yeah, no, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that mode of thinking. I'm I, I didn't even know that we were about to be in World War Three. The the student has become the master in that regard. I I, I was minecrafting. Like where there is no war and there is no precedent and you know, I'm waiting waiting to you know waiting to uh, cash in and and head for the hills. Man, this is great, man. I'm reading this book right now. This is perfect. It's it's this new book by the Zen Roshi, Roshi Joan Halifax. I think it's called Standing on the Edge. It's really good, but it's about edge states. And it talks about, like, you know, altruism. Healthy altruism and unhealthy altruism. And how, like, a person who's, like, got a really good heart and who really wants things to be better, really wants things to be better in the world can like fall over the edge into absolute despair and absolute just just broken heartedness and like she she gives all these examples she's amazing she like you know while I'm like planning parties and like ha like having a really fun life uh she's like does she, she like flies to you know there's just that big earthquake that happened recently I think it was in Nepal right where's that big earthquake where was that there's like a mass, it wasn't recent recently, but the point is she like flies to places where people are suffering and sets up camps and gets blankets flown in and like just tries to help. And she doesn't do it in a real flashy, showy way. I've, I've met her. She's just, this is just what she does. She's like, oh, well, this, here we are on planet Earth. Here's what you do. And so she encounters people who, do, who are doing those things with her. And she watches some people get just fucking shattered on their altruism, just get broken apart in their compassion. How just, do they get broken apart? Because cause they, cause what happens is, is like you, you become bitter. You go, you go out there to help. You have an expectation that you're going to make things better. You come into contact with a, a really a reality, which is, that, oh, really, you're, you're not going to make everything better. Right. In fact, things might be getting worse while you're trying to make things better. Right. But in your mind, you were like, oh, no, I'm going to do it. Or it could be done. Or it might be. And, and so, but suddenly you're like, you're watching people bring their children to like triage centers where it's like, no, the, the, that, that kid's going to die. And you're watching that happen day after day after day after day. It's, it's kind of what you do with animals, Rob. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and you, you, you like if you if you don't watch what you're doing and you fall on the other side, what ends up happening is the darkness consumes you. 
You know, it's that classic thing. You, you, the thing you're fighting, you become. And you don't even realize it's happened to you. And then suddenly you're all broken apart by it. And then the fucking thing won. Then it won. It, mm. You know, that's the crazy thing about it is the, so the way the darkness wins is, is not by killing people or fighting it. It wins by getting into their hearts. And then, and then, you know what I mean? Like Sith style. Sorry to use a Star Wars. It's like that. It, like, it just like gets you. And you don't even know it got you. It's a cool book. It's really good. I really love it. What's it called? I think it's called Standing on the Edge. you mind if I Google it real quick? I'll tell you. It's like, it's about edge yeah, states. Yeah, Dan and I will talk while you do that. Hey, Thank Dan. You. You, what would you do today? You did some Minecraft. That must have been fun. Yeah. I just finished... Uh, Level three. <laughs> no. Are there levels in Minecraft? <laughs> well, if you crap? don't know, why would you cut me off and you ask me <laughs> about Minecraft? To, I'm, being, trying to, I'm trying to reach <laughs> out and make a connection. All right. I don't have to. I'm well, trying to make an emotional bid. Okay, well, can I answer it? Can I tell you about Minecraft a little bit? Yes. Mm, yeah, there's that fire behind your eyes. You don't want to hear about Minecraft. It, I got no internet in here. It's a, just Google the new book by Joan... I just finished gathering all of the necessary ingredients for a tier one void resource, uh, void ore miner, uh, from the environmental tech pack in Minecraft. That's badass. Yeah, it took a great deal of diamonds and other materials that were hard to come by. I went to Monster Palooza this afternoon with Kumail and Jonah. And we looked at monster paloozas. You mean masks? Yes. Masks and bootleg DVDs. My therapist told me the name of some guy that, like, I don't know. I said, because I, I said, like, oh, can you, uh, you know how you taught me to deal with, like, relationships, like, by explaining rules and stuff? Is there rules for how to be interested in people? Because it seems like that's become the... What we're really talking about for me is like, well, the when I talk about the election, I don't mean, oh, everything changed because of who became president. I mean, I mean we all... Like, our whole mission statement changed and, and my... Therefore, me as a parasite, as a person who's like just, just always wanted to fit in or make people like me or not get beat up or just be funny or whatever. It's like that scrambled my signal. So like the, that's a good thing because then it, then you, you, you finally get to a place where you're like, okay, so let's just care about Dan. What do what do you want? Right. And then you go, okay, well I'm going to lock that down that down. Okay. Um, and then what's left is sort of like, other people like what am i supposed to how am i supposed to interact with them and it's like uh you know i i guess i'm you know and the the therapist gave me some materials or something to to look at but i, I kind of like it's just like a sink full of dishes like i don't want to learn how to how to how to interact with people she's like trying to show you i, I don't understand i'm not i don't know either because it's like i haven't unpacked it you know it's like it's like like a like, oh, look up this guy, read his book, watch his TED talk, you know, like go, you'll, you'll enter this realm of like, this guy is like a guy who like the area, the thing that you're talking about, this guy would be helpful, you know? Right. But I, I, don't, I don't, I just wrote it down and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. All that stuff is like, when I go to these Ram Dass retreats, they always talk about mind versus heart, like being up in your head versus in your heart. And all that stuff's so heady. It's all mental. It's all like, you're up in your head. It's like, those books will get you up in your head. Not that it's bad. Books are great. But like, some of those, it's like, as opposed to just like, uh, well, I love it because it's so simple. Because it's like, just what you're in right now, it's perfect. It's fine. Even if the thing you're in right now is just this simmering cauldron of, of whatever it is. It's that idea of like, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm that thing and then feel that yeah. without any expectation like oh I'm going to change it that's this thing that I, um, what's her name Pima Chodron the, another Buddhist teacher she says people say oh we're going to start meditating because we want to be a better person and she says that's an aggression against the you that you are right now the idea is not to meditate to become a better person 
The idea is to meditate so that you could fee- be yourself more fully, feel yourself more f- fully. I love that idea. It's just so fun to just play around with the idea that where you're at right now, this, this where you're at, this where you're at, fucking, it's perfect. Yeah, I find myself last couple, like, like I, I've gone to some dark places I've been really upset. It was connected to my dog getting sick and stuff. Are these things like cue like operas in your head? You yes. know, like pockets of magma and things. Like, okay, now I have an excuse to flush that vein of lava. Uh, so I don't know what's going on down there, but I know on top it's like the reality, not the illusion, is numbness and stillness. Yeah. And so then I have these conversations with people like my therapist or or just anybody who's like actually interested goes like, "Well, what where are you really at?" And then I found myself going, uh, "Well, I guess you know, come see come sa like like and then the the, the, the like, "Oh, t- what do you mean? Don't you think this and that?" It's like the the other person like wants so much more than stillness and numbness, and they can have it. But then uh, that's 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 fracking. Like it's like okay, where well, you're gonna pierce me and you're gonna dig down, and it's not necessarily more true what's boiling down beneath in the core of the earth. Like that's no yeah. more the earth than the crust and the polar ice caps and all this stuff. Like I I just feel on my surface right now. Like I just like numb. Yeah, Still. just so numb. Yeah, like I just like, reduced to like, I, I, but the, and the then it's nice what I noticed in my behavior is like, well, you haven't gotten on Twitter in like three days, and you didn't even do it by saying you were going to quit Twitter for three days. Like you forgot to get on Twitter because you're fucking numb, and with numbness comes also you don't need to self abuse. What is the so? How would you like if you had to instead of just saying numbness, like? I, how would you describe the numbness? What what is it? How would you describe it if you couldn't use the word numb? Stasis? I don't know. I mean, is it like it's, it's like it's like is it if if it were a, it, is it solid? Is it like malleable? Is it is it is it changing? Does it come and go? Would it have a color associated with it? Is it opaque? Like how would you just what is it? I think I feel like it's like I don't know if I controlled it or someone else did, but I feel like it's like uh, going around the house. It's and, and like shutting off, like 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 it's or, or like it's it's like 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 there's like white noise that you get used to. You're just like, oh, I'm on a submarine, so like. I just hear all the time background noise sounds like just because that's what it takes to run a submarine. And then like, it's just silent running. Like you just like, Oh, one by one, you're just turning off equipment. And I don't know if I did that or if that's like a Russian weapon that, or you know what I mean? Like I'm not going to claim credit for it. It's just a it's just a thing that has happened. That's you, the you state. Feel, you mean you feel like it's like a shutting down? Yeah, like it's like a, an energy that's sort of like there was some energy, and then that energy is now turning itself off. Yeah, like 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 like, but but for a purpose. Like waiting. It's about time. It's about like we were being counterproductive with the worrying and the and the pinging and the periscoping yeah. and the, all those things. So like, okay, go deep and shut everything off and just, sh- you know, like, and it, it because it, not because nothing is important because everything is important because we're hunting the red October. I don't know. Like, like, like it's, it's, t- it's, it's the time for, for nothing right now. It's it doesn't feel purposeless. Right. I feel, I, I, if I thought that this was my new life, I'd, put a bullet in my head because <laughs> I'd be like, well, that's boring. But I, I feel anticipation. I feel like, like, okay, this chapter is wrapping up. Like everything, all of my energy creatively is being put into like tying knots on things going like, okay, let's get this off my plate. I'm gonna not don't, okay. Say no to that pitch. D- don't do that. Don't start that. Don't promise that. And then like, let everything like, like come down to a, to a, to a, to a point of complete silence. And yeah. then so that the orchestra can 
start and the metaphor mixer can can mix the metaphor of the submarine and the orchestra monster palooza who gives a fuck about that stupid ass fucking Kumail John Room great me well what did you buy any masks I didn't but I bought a bunch of DVDs that I'm gonna watch when I get home I bought a Zachary album monster album Zachary monster album I'm gonna listen to that on my turntable and I bought some DVDs uh.